to your mid-month reading for June. Hope your friends are doing great out there. Welcome back all subscribers and new and new to my channel. Welcome, welcome. If your friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, friends, getting straight into your energy of what you're thinking, feeling, or the energy surrounding you. Best message for Leo, please, in mid-month. Best message for Leo. One more. The architect building. Building up things around you, building your home, um, you know, creating, building. Mastering something. Clarifying on the one of keys, please, the architect. This card's not only going to clarify on the architect, but the entire reading. It says, I can be a master architect. I can build this. I can move mountains. We're going to build a kingdom over here. Building yourself up. And you know it. You you know right now. You're in the knowing. You're like, I can build this. I have the tools to do so. And being in the I can area, this is wonderful because that is such positivity saying nothing's going to stop me. I've got this. Um, if you are in my way, you won't be for long. <laughs> right? Because I'm building something. Um, and it could just be building a fortune. Right? You're involved in building a project, re renovating, redecorating a home or a workplace, uh, building yourself up. You know, however it is, your, the strengths and the abilities that you have and the opportunities that are beckoning is, you know, utilizing all the skills and all the opportunities that you have around you. And you really know that and you're very focused. This is a big focus card of building what is yours. Like I always say, building an empire. Take it how it resonates, right? Like, I am Ramesses, get out of my way, I am building, I'm building pyramids over here. Okay, so getting straight into the situation, the situation is taking place in the present, the recent past, and the near future. Oh, great. I just need one card, please, I don't need 12. Okay. Oh, there we go. Master. That's what I say. You're mastering. I mean, just literally, you're like the master of the universe over here. You're mastering exactly what you know you're going to master. That's it. I am the master. I'm the master builder. This is what I'm doing. Right? In the recent past, it was choosing your battles wisely. I just have to say, guys, every time I see this card, this guy looks like John Travolta. I don't know if everybody else feels this way, but I just have to say that. This guy right here. And every time I see him, I was like, John Travolta. Okay, so <laughs> my son's laughing. He's like, okay. Uh, challenging times in the near future. Okay, so somebody wants to challenge you. They want to give you a challenge. There's going to be this challenge in building this. So you become the master builder. You're choosing your battles wisely in the past. And you're like, okay, fine. Here we go. Let's see what's going on. Choosing your battles. Straight to choosing your battles, please. Choosing your battles wisely. Hey, you know, seven of wands. I'm on I'm in challenge mode. And that's how I feel. It's like if you don't like what I'm going after, I'm sorry. You know, this is where I'm going. I don't have time standing your ground with the Archangel Michael. Wow, that's knowing exactly what you want to know and having the divine help you as well. Um, so you're like really charged up over here. Anytime you have the Archangel Michael card, we have, I believe, three cards that have Archangels, uh, Michael, Raphael, and Gabriel. That just means that, you know, you're on a roll over here and divinely being um, guided for sure, right? Because they're watching you, they're preparing for you, and they're helping you along this way. You have a divine power. You're channeling divine power when you're doing this. So you're definitely in this amazing strength, in this cycle right now. So yeah, you don't have time for anybody to be 
trying to challenge you. Um, you know, this is why you're like kind of choose your battles wisely. You may be telling someone this, hey, you know what? Maybe they need to choose their battles wisely because I'm not listening right now. So unless it's going to be something that's worth something, don't talk to me because I'm in the middle of being a master or becoming a master, excuse me, because it's the past, becoming a master. Um, and it does feel like that that's how it is. So you're trusting the convictions of your own power and your resourcefulness. So maybe they're trying to be forceful with you about whatever you're doing. Um, right. And you're like, not today, not today, Satan. I don't have time. Right. And this is another card of conviction, 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 evaluating, you know, evaluating what you're going to do, putting forth, you know, any kind of, I'm going to say resistance, right? Because if they're coming at you and you have to defend yourself for the reasons of why you want to build what you're doing and you're saying, I can do this. Don't tell me I cannot, right? You're going to push back on them and it might even be a little aggressive because maybe they're coming at you a little aggressive too with a little bit of an attitude and you're saying, no, this is not justified. This is not what I'm doing. So you might even be having to defend what you're doing um, for some, you know, for some people. So I even feel in some ways it's like you better choose your battles wisely, Mr. You know, Mr. Man, Mr. Woman, because or Mrs. Woman, because not today. But I know what I'm doing. And I think that this is something because you have it in your chakra. It is the intention. This is an intention. You have been intending to do this for a long time. So you're saying I can with total, you know, conviction, with total intention and total manifestation because the intention is the manifestation. I wouldn't go, you know what I mean? It's like, if I knew you were doing that, I wouldn't go there. So say, just leave Leo alone. They know what they're doing. And literally you do. So with the 15, with the master over here, becoming the master of the universe, this is the double card though. Okay. It is a double card. Because you are becoming the master of doing what you're doing, right? Because you're identifying with what you're doing. And yeah, there is a lot of control over here. And so, yes, right? Because you're getting to your freedom. Okay. And it just feels to me that it's, you know, with this card over here, you guys, it's kind of like somebody is trying to be deep. They're trying to tear your architect down. I'm just, you're in, there's like so much denial from someone that you're going to get where you want to be. Um, that it's almost, yeah, it's almost like they're trying to keep your dreams and your goals and your intention in this little cage over here, trying to keep you away from what you want. And you're saying, I'm going to master this, but they're trying to override with toxic energy towards your positive energy. So you're like the positive master, you know, maybe like Hierophant, and they are definitely becoming the negative energy because they're, you know, always in this never ending cycle of telling you, you can't do this. So it's now is the time to take action. Now is to really master and identify with the things that you need to do when it comes to the architect, not allowing them to try to fear longer you about this is going to do this and that's not going to have that and you're going to run out of money or blah, 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 however it is. And don't allow them to try to trap your dreams. Right? Because that's really what it feels like. It feels like they're just trying to trap your dreams and tell you that they're not going to happen. And you're just sitting over here still building. And I don't care if it's a relationship, if it's a job, if it's a building, if it's home renovation, building a house, whatever you're doing, spring and autumn. This, yeah, this will all, I believe that this whole thing will be done by autumn no matter what. I say by October, this is all be done. You've started this in the spring. It will continue through the summer, through autumn. If it didn't actually start in spring, then that was when the intention, I can, started really taking place in the springtime. And it's saying this is the best time to continue doing what you're doing and just continue with it because you're on the right track. 
absolutely setting the course. So I do feel like in spring, you were setting the course for this um, and then really 100% now to trying to take the action to really start building this or in the middle of building this. Um, and the more you keep going, this will all be, depending on the size of this, right, will be done by autumn. Um, if it's something small, then, it, you know, it's probably almost done, right? Probably only got a couple of more weeks. Um, but you just continue to keep setting your course and looking for the things that you need to look for to continue to keep building um, and don't give up because you're on the right course. And right now you are setting the course, really getting in there. All boats out, getting to where you want to be, got your spyglass out, <laughs> really knowing where you're going right now. I just really worry about this other person who is trying to almost be the master of reality of what you want. Um, when it's, it just feels like in some places, guys, it's not really even their business to even tell you, unless it's a spouse and they're trying to be over um, bossy about something that's your plan. Hmm. But there is challenging times ahead. Right now you have the challenging times ahead. So as you're getting over here, setting this course and really taking this action for this, let's just clarify the setting course real quick to figure out how we get to these challenging times. I'm telling you, it's this master over here. It could be a Capricorn that you're dealing with, um, whoever, but it feels like they're the ones that's really going to start challenging you. And then, I don't know, we'll figure that out. But I feel it has something to do with them as well. Knight of Swords, yeah, because it just starts, after setting the course, it's starting to slow down a little bit. It won't move as fast, getting towards the challenging times. So that's why we're asking. You still have the Ace of Pentacles. It's still going through the achievements. It's still going where it's going. It's just, yeah, there's something that's happening that all of a sudden you now have to crutch. So it feels like there's a slowdown period <coughs> in between this to get to the overall um, building of this. Okay. So something just starts slowing down a little bit. But at least you have the Ace of Coins, which means, you know what? It's still successful. I like that. It's just now all of a sudden, it's kind of taking a back seat a little bit. It's, the process is slowing, challenging the times. You still have the Ace of Cups, even though you're challenging the times. You still feel like you have a renewal. There's fresh things going on. That's because of the Ace of Coins. So pretty much your, whatever you're building, this dream, this relationship, whatever it is, is still doing good. And you still feel like you have your cups overfilled and blessings are coming in. Just watch the challenging time because it's trying to challenge your Ace of Cups. Could be a message coming through from a swords. Maybe your person's a swords too. Um... Be falling of a friend. Somebody wants to challenge you. There's a message coming in that's very challenging. There's the challenge anyways. It could be a loss of a coworker. Maybe that's why it starts slowing down. Maybe they didn't come to work. However it is. Be falling of a friend. The loss. Which becomes fighting. Fighting to keep the Ace of Cups is what it looks like. There's a little depression, though, because it's kind of challenging everything that you're doing. Just rest easy with the Four of Swords. Yeah, because you're going to have Three of Swords. There's going to be some pain over here with the falling of a friend, co-worker, somebody that might be working on this project. However, Three of Cups. But it looks like, oh. clarifying on the three of cups. Sorry, guys, I have too many threes over here. It just looks like somebody's trying to get involved where their nose shouldn't be. You're going to just kind of walk away from that to keep your Ace of Cups. Yep, you're continuing to keep planning and building your architect. It just feels like over here, while somebody's over here having a good old time, while you're all sad and upset, um, you'll get your happiness back anyways. But it does look like there is somebody that could be involved in the situation. 
that shouldn't be there. Kind of like getting their nose in your business where it shouldn't be. Choosing your battles wisely again, right? Um, but you're not going to allow that to affect you because you can't. So they might be a little butthurt about the situation because it looks like, hey, you know what? You upset me. You didn't do this. You didn't do that. But I'm going to go get my happiness. Not allow this to affect me. It's actually them who's going to end up with the three of swords, not yourself. You're a little upset about this, but it's not going to painstaking error for you because you're not putting it into challenge mode. It's more kind of their problem. It, that's kind of how it feels, Leo. It's kind of like, you know, you did that to yourself. It's kind of your problem. Um, you know, I have other things to do. You didn't want to show up to work. You didn't want to do this. You wanted to go get drunk, whatever it is. There's something going on over here with this message of this befalling of a friend, which they're trying to fight with you, Leo, um, about the situation, argue with you. They're a little upset about the situation. You're a little upset, but like I said, it's not you. You're resting easy. They can go do whatever they want to do. It could be a Libra who's very upset about this situation. Um, but you're not going to allow this to affect you because you're still the architect. You're saying, I still can do this. And you're probably even saying, you know what? It doesn't matter because I can still do this without you. Remember, no matter what, it's going to be done. Okay. By autumn. If not already almost done. So you're just going to continue to keep planning around them. Um, it's almost like maybe you needed them there. Maybe it was an electrician or somebody that you hired and or somebody, you know what I'm saying? And now they're saying, oh, well, you know, they dropped the ball. You're saying that's fine. Yeah, see, because you can make new decisions. You can make new decisions without them. It's almost like you're just going to work around them and completely continue with this dream of what you're building because you're, you've come too far anyways, right? Whatever this is, if it's a home renovation or whatever it is. So the angels say it's perfect timing for you to continue to keep doing what you're doing. Look for the signs needed. Um, trust that this is going to be done in the near future. Oh, love that. Ooh, look at that. Within the next few months. Yes. And at the bottom of the card, the deck is compromised. So in the end, yeah, that's what it is, too. Don't worry about it because I've got this and I'll compromise for my own happiness. I'm not worried about you, you know. Okay, and that was it for you, my friends. Until next time, peace and love. Bye-bye.